They can't send beer. Kind of smells like a beer. I did not think this would be a Ukrainian thing with wasabi. Woo! Cold and flu season. You got nothing over this. The tip of my tongue is on fire. Kind of looks like insulation. A little pasty. I think pretty much everybody likes the bacon. Why wouldn't I recommend anything that tastes like bacon? We're gonna end up with a sugar high shortly. Or diabetes. Looks almost like a mincemeat pie. Many chocolates. That is not Oreo at all. Really good idea that they gave us this big can. Yep. That looks like a coffee crisp on crack. Mmm. Not a fan. Oh! There was a lot of heavy stuff today. I need milk. Well done, Ukraine. Well done. We have another Universal Yums box. This one is from the, the Ukraine. Ukraine. We're looking at all of the treats right now. A lot and of treats. I think there's 15 or 16 different things. One of which is a drink, which I figure we'll start with the drink first. I don't know what it says in English. It does have wheat on it. I know that's not actual beer. They can't send beer. Blasphemy. It's, maybe it's a not beer. A carbonated drink of some sort. A wheat ginger beard. We'll look this up at the very end. I'm gonna try this again. It's subtle, but it's really good. Yeah, it's not bad. Actually, I wish I'd put this in the fridge. I mm, didn't yeah. think it would be really good cold as well. We should just let you know. I'm not gonna make this right now, but it's red borscht soup. Borscht is good. Borscht is really, I'm really good. Big fan. I'm excited. Maybe we can make this. Maybe I might save it for fall though, because it feels like more of a fall hearty soup, but we both really enjoy this. You got salty. You got cake. You got chocolate. You got cookies and you have candy. Probably with the salty first. Salty first. Now, bag? This, the bag thing. this one here yeah. is homemade bread chips. It's an actual paper bag. It says rye wheat bread chips. So maybe good for snacking, dipping. Cool. Okay. Little, mm. Like rye bread croutons. That's like Malva toast. Some seasoning in there. Definitely seasoning. Yeah. Salt. Oh, okay. So it says beer. Oh, it go, goes well with beer. I guess hence why we got this. It goes well with soup. Hence why we got this. It also goes well with salad. It's made with garlic, salt, tomatoes, and paprika. I do oh, okay. taste the paprika. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite nice. Watch that thing. The thing that kind of confused me, I did not think this would be a Ukrainian thing. Golden chips, potato snacks with wasabi. Yeah, that's a Ukrainian thing? Oh, that was news to me, but... Well, I know the Ukraine is like the, like the center for from between Europe and Asia, and you get a lot of interesting stuff there. So. They're definitely green. Little bits of green on them. Cheers. Oh, oh. Woo! Yeah. Oh! There's wasabi in that. Mmm, nom, 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 yep. nom. My nose is clear. Cold and flu season. You got nothing over this. Oh, good, but the tip of my tongue is on fire. Mm-hmm. That's not bad. It does taste like, obviously, the green bits to this is like wasabi yeah. salt or something that it, they uh, put on top. It has a bit of a bite. Mm-hmm. Like literally, the tip of your tongue. Halva sunflower. It's very dense. Like, feel this. It's Ooh, peanuts and sea it. peanuts, almonds, and hazelnuts. It feels like if you were to go hiking, this would be something you would bring with you. Yeah, it all just sort of falls apart. Mm. Layered. Kind of looks like insulation. Cheers. Layered. A little pasty. It's a little pastry. But the flavor is good. Mm, it's pretty dense. Like it was it is quite sticked to the top of my mouth. It is hearty. Can you see why they sent this? So something that's like should be close to our hearts being Canadian. Oh yeah. I never thought, but apparently they love bacon flavored potato chips. It even says so bait right here. I think pretty much everybody likes the bacon. It should be its own food group. They look like old light and fluffy. Mm. Like again, like the airy chips. Yeah, very, very airy. Cheers. It like oh, yeah. melts in my mouth, the cookie. And it's very, very, yeah, it's fluffy. Very fluffy. It tastes bacon-ish, too. There's a little essence of yeah. I think it may be smoke hickory. It's like those chips we had from, is it Spain? Not that you got to see that because that, our footage was completely corrupt, yeah. but we did bring back some chips and we did taste some yeah, that it also had tasted bacon. The, the chip type. Because it's like very fluffy and really, but it smelled like no the shrimp fish or shrimp or the something. Maui. Yeah, the Maui. Taste test for Maui. I will link that video above. Mm. We did that, and it took us two chips to bite into it to really realize. I, I definitely felt you like could a... smell that one more than you could taste it. That's all right. Would recommend. Why wouldn't I recommend anything that tastes like bacon? Nelson has chosen candies. Now every box you get one of these yum bags. And in these yum bags, you don't know what's inside. Every single time it's new, and actually we found some really good ones on the last one that we did, the um, oh, yeah. the France box with some really good candies. Shockingly, France had good 
food. So there's a few different kinds I'm gonna show you. There are a lemon. It says filled toffee blueberry, I think. And then we have one of these minky binky orange chewing sweets, probably like a starburst. And then there's this flavor as well. And there's one more other flavor. So they give you quite a few different little varieties. The chew. All right, I'm gonna try the lemon. Oh, it's chocolate. Haha, uh -huh, sucker, I got chocolate. Mmm. It's like and a marshmallow. This, this is definitely like saltwater taffy. Same. It's like a marshmallow. It's like those banana things. They, they, they look like tiny bananas. Mm -hmm. The squishy banana ones that yeah, we yeah, were yeah. kids. When we were kids, about a thousand years ago. Well, a hundred thousand years for you. That's like a, like a high-end type of chocolate you get from something at Christmas time. Mm -hmm. you know, you know, you know, yeah, no, really good. We won't try all of them because there's a lot here. Mm -hmm. We're going to end up with a sugar high shortly. Or we, diabetes. Or Bonnie Fruit Summer Mix, 25% juice. These are gummies. Ah, so, I, I got a feeling they're like wine gums. I got a feeling. So here we are. This is the variety and it looks like they're shaped like there's cherry that's shaped in a cherry and uh, lime watermelon slices. So yeah, which one would you like? Uh, I'll go for one of these. Lime. Let's see. Oop. Oh, we'll smell to them. Oh, very chewy. Melts in your mouth. Not sour. Apple. Oh, it's an apple. It's green apple. Mine did not taste like cherry. It tastes like a berry of some kind, but I wouldn't say it was cherry. Oh, yeah, definitely watermelon. Oh, the peach. Well. Mm -hmm. So this one is light and airy. Feel that. It's a sponge oh, cake. Looks so like a sponge cake of some kind. So that is what this looks like in whole. It looks like a sam like a cake or sandwich cake. It smells like a little alcohol, but a Twinkie. Oh yeah! Well, it's got like a cream. Yeah, yeah. it's like a Twinkie almost. Mm. I can't put my finger on it. It's, it's a very slight taste. It doesn't say that there's any alcohol or was used in it. It does taste like there's like a rum or some sort of alcohol in there. It'll be like black currant. Oh, hells yeah! Looks like we have a little miniature. I think that they advertise this as a cake biscuit. It's a biscuit. It looks almost like a mincemeat. Pie. Yeah. Smell good. Oh, it does smell good. Mm. I feel like I need a cup of tea. I think I like this one over the sponge cake. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Not bad. No, not bad at all. The thing I do like about the uh, the European stuff is they tend to go more towards natural flavoring. Mm -hmm. Whereas in like the States, you get Red Dive 27 or whatever that can be. Like chocolate or cookies? Uh, let's get a chocolate. There's a lot of chocolate. Yeah. Many chocolates. <laughs> let's go with the buble. This reminds me of arrow. The arrows, they feel like the arrows chocolate where you have yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the mint, but it feels in, super in light. This is the caramel chocolate. Oh, even better. It's white chocolate. It's not quite as, it is still oh, it bubbly is. like yeah. an arrow bar like an arrow bar that we get in Canada and probably the UK. Sweet caramel, not as strong as I was expecting. Well, it's definitely white chocolate. Mm -hmm. I can't put my finger on the smell. I used to work at Rogers Chocolates years ago and white chocolate is purely just icing sugar, basically. And that's why I ta it tastes like and I smell the icing sugar, but I don't necessarily taste caramel. Not the way I know caramel to be. There's more white chocolate taste, mm -hmm. but a bit. Of, a bit of caramel. This is the Choco Shocks and this is a chocolatey covered wafer bar with cookie crumbs. Oh, it's very wafery. I think you're better off just to eat it. Oh, yeah, it's falling apart. Those wafer cookies mm -hmm. that come in strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. Yep. They're Dutch, I think. That's what it reminds me of. The wafer part. Almost like a coffee crisp. Without the coffee. Now, if you're Canadian, you know what a coffee crisp tastes like. Without the coffee flavoring, it's very, very similar to a coffee crisp. That's not Oreo at all. No, I don't taste a cookie. Chocolatey coated wafer bar with almonds. This is another feel that one. It's a thick one. I Ooh, think. Oh, that's heavier than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That looks like a coffee crisp on crack. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That's my favorite. Really? Mm-hmm. It almost like, feels I, like it's burnt or something. I love the wafers. Not a fan. It's a Rochen milk chocolate. I don't know if that cream flavor is like a cream or if it's a caramel. Like Listen. a like a ro or a caramel? That's gooey. Mm. That was like a caramel. Mm -hmm. A little more runny. Mm -hmm. That's good. So your choice are these rolls. It sounds a little broken. I'm not going to lie. Then we have a friendy. So this is the cookie section, the last section. Which one would you like to try first? I'll try the, the roll thing. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. It's light. The last thing we have is a friendy. Almost like based on its name and its packaging, not what the cookie looks like. The taste may be similar to an animal, animal cracker. Oh! oh. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's totally like strawberry. It's those sesame yep. seeds, but they're supposed to look like strawberry seeds. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good cookie. You know those cookies you get with the, the red spot in the middle? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, it's kind of like that, mm -hmm. but once again, higher end. It's, it's 
really good. Real strawberry. Yeah. yeah. Well true. done. Well done, Ukraine. Well done. All the, I have to find out what that drink is all about. The Cavus Terrace Soda is an ancient malt beverage, still a natural fave. This unique drink made from fermented barley and rye is as old as the Ukraine itself. It is yeah. a very light beer, but doesn't have alcohol in it. I am so full and I'm on a sugar high. Thanks for following us. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Maybe not as much as we did because you know, we, we didn't get to eat the stuff. Yeah. So definitely stay tuned. We have got some possible travel. Always thinking about the next destination. While we are in the middle of all of that, we like to taste test little goodies from all over the world. So if you like taste testing goodies from all, all over the world and you're not from Canada, you're somewhere from across the world, contact the email below and we'll get chatting and maybe we can do a trade where we'll send you some Canadian products and you send us some stuff from wherever you're from. No, like a coffee crisp. And an eat more. Mm, mm, eat, more. eat more. The name itself says you have to eat more. Thanks, Thanks for, for hitching a ride, ride guys.